For this example, we're given a piecewise defined function and we're asked to calculate two different values. So we have g of x and it's defined as the square root of x minus 3 any time x is greater than or equal to 3 and it's defined as 3 minus x if x is less than 3. So first, let's calculate g of negative 1. Well, we need to determine which of these two functions to substitute negative 1 in for x. Well, let's look over here. Since g of negative 1 means we're substituting negative 1 in for x, we need to choose the second option here because negative 1 is less than 3. So if x is less than 3, we want to choose this function, 3 minus x. So we're substituting negative 1 into the 3 minus x. So 3 minus negative 1 is equal to 3 plus 1, or 4. So therefore, g of negative 1 is equal to 4. Be careful not to substitute it up into the other function. If you substituted it up here, you'd get a negative value underneath your square root sign, which is not a real number. So now let's calculate g of 7. Well, since 7 is a value that is greater than or equal to 3, we'll use this first function value. g of 7 is going to equal the square root of, we'll substitute 7 in for x, 7 minus 3, which is just the square root of 4, or 2.